Hello quilters, I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's creativity specialist. And I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert, and we're excited to be here today to show you how to use the Go Small Bow Cozy Die. That's right. We have this great project die in two sizes. Now the Go Big Bowl Cozy die exclusively works with the Go Big Electric Fabric Cutter, while the Go Small Bow Cozy die is on a 10 by 10 die board and it will work with both the Go and the Go Big. That's right. Bowl Cozies are so useful. I know we use them every single day at our house and they make fantastic gifts as well. Oh, I think we should dive right in and make one. All right, let's do. All right, so here's the die, and you'll see that it goes ahead and cuts those little darts on the side for you and the rounded edges. It's really just that simple. All right. Okay. So let's talk about fabrics. If you want bowl cozies to be microwave friendly, be sure that everything you use is made out of 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. The fabric, the thread, and the batting. Yes. Wrap and Zap is a great batting to use because it's designed for microwave use. Yes. And we sell it on our website. That's right. And that's really important. Now, you may not always use your bowl cozy with the microwave, but it's important to be safe when you do. For cutting, you want to start by laying your ruler on the die and measuring a quarter inch on either side of the shape and just rough cutting your fabric. Okay. So you'll need two layers of fabric and two layers of batting for each bowl cozy. With our dies and cutters, you can cut up to six layers of quilting cotton at one time. But here is our first pro tip. Right. Since we're going to be sewing one layer of fabric to one layer of batting, cut them together. More batting would just be too thick, so one layer of cotton and one layer of wrap and zap is just right. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this on there. And again, we're gonna follow the shape, not the die board. Okay, and there's our fabric. Perfect. Okay, and you'll let's need a 10 by 10 mat, since it's a 10 by 10 die. And we'll just go ahead and get this other piece cut out. That was so fast it's and so easy. Fast. Slide our mat, don't lift. And I like to prep a whole stack of squares of the fabric and batting matched up and then just cut them all at once. Oh yeah, that would be great. And could you use layer cakes for your fabric? It works perfectly for layer cakes. That's a great tip, Pam. All right. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is take these two layers and sew an X right through to hold your layers together. Perfect. Now, you can mark that if you want to. I'm just going to eyeball it. I only eyeball mine. Okay. Okay. So we've got our X sewn through yes. to hold our belt. So the next thing to do is to go ahead and sew our darts. Perfect. So fold it in half. And match those up and you're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance on those darts. Excellent. And again, what a great chain piecing project. Absolutely. Now once you've sewn your first set of darts, you want to go ahead, open it up and fold it the other direction so you can sew the other set of darts. Excellent. Okay, there we go. So once all the darts are sewn, you just need to put your two pieces together. So I already got one ready. Excellent. And we're gonna put right sides together. All right. And. I bet you're gonna pin this together. I am gonna pin this together. And here's a little tip. When you do your seam allowances from those darts, you wanna press, just pin them so they're going opposite directions. You don't need to press. You don't need to do anything drastic, but if you have them pointing opposite directions, you're going to reduce your bulk. All right. Okay? And that's really about the only pinning you need to do, and that's just to make your life a little easier. All right, now, Erica, you want to make sure you leave an opening so that you can turn your bowl cozy inside out. Is that right? Yes, that's very important. Otherwise, you're going to not know how to turn it the other way around and you will be a sad quilter.
Okay, now when you're done sewing, you wanna turn it right side out. Excellent. Now take your time when you're doing this and you wanna make sure that you get everything, turn, those corners poked all the way through so that they're nice and rounded and you might wanna use a stiletto or a purple thing or a chopstick or even the end of a pencil. There you go. Okay, so once you have the bulk of it, then go ahead and take that stiletto. Actually, I really like this one. We sell this one on our website. Oh, there, get the points. And get those points so you get those nice points on your bowl cozy. And like usually I'll finger press them out and then go back in with the stiletto to make sure that they're nice and, and rounded. Look at how fun that is. So it's that quick and that easy. Now I like to go around and do a top stitch. That'll close my opening and it will just secure those layers for Excellent. us. Excellent. So what a great way to use up layer cakes and scraps. Oh, it's going to be just darling. All right, bowl cozies are great for so many things besides heating up leftovers in the microwave. Think about a fun shower gift with bowls, bowl cozies, and a ladle, and a favorite soup recipe. Or look at how cute this is. Think about personalizing them with applique. That is so adorable. There are just endless options with this die, and we hope you enjoy creating with it. Because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.